Hello, welcome to my new video and in this video, I will show you how to control a servo motor using Arduino. Now this circuit can be used in many applications like robotic arms, wipers of vehicles, toll gate etc. The components of the circuit are one Arduino Uno R3 board, one Arduino Uno cable, three jumper wires and one servo motor. To understand the circuit, let's first understand about servo motors. Now, servo motors are a type of motors which can be used to make a movement in angular direction. Now, you can see a servo motor in my hand. It has three terminals, 5 volt, GND and signal. Now, this is a mini servo, but those who are used in industries are the big servos. Now, a servo requires a great uh, amount of power. If you want to connect a single servo, then we can supply it with 5 volt of uh, power. But if you want to connect two or more servos, we will need an external supply to power it. Now, so, uh, so servo motors make an angular distance movement. Means, if, if we give a particular angle to the servo, it will move in that particular angle. S for example, if we give a 90 degree angle, it will move in 90 degrees. Now, let's make the circuit. So first we will connect 5 volt of servo motor to 5 volt of Arduino. Then we will connect GND of servo motor to GND of Arduino. And at last we will connect signal of servo motor to D9 terminal of Arduino. Now this is the overall circuit. Now let's look at the code of the circuit. So in the first part, we are including a library known as servo. And in the second part, we are making a variable so that we can con control a servo. In the second part, which is void setup, we are telling to the Arduino that we have attached our servo to D9 terminal. And then we are making a statement so that our servo changed turns to 0 degrees. And after that, we are making a delay of 1 second. Now comes the void loop. Now here, we are making the servo move 15 degrees with a delay of 1 second. So this will continue till 90 degrees. So it is 15, 30, 45, 75, 90. Now after 90, we are uh, again reversing the order. Means we will come from 90 to 0. Means 90, 75, 60, 45, 30, 15 and 0. Now in this way, it will make a movement in it in which it will move and then stop and then again move. But in the second part, we are making a continuous movement. Means from 0 to 180 degree, a continuous flow will be there. And from 180 to 0, there will be a continuous flow. So in this way, first the servo will move from 0 to 90 degrees and 90 degrees from 0 with a halt. And in the second part, it will move from 0 to 180 degrees and 180 degrees to 0 with, a, with continuous flow. Now I will upload the code in the circuit. You can see that the code has been uploaded. So you can see that the servo is moving 15 degrees with a halt of 1 second and then it is moving continuously from 0 to 180 degrees. So in this way the servo motor works. I hope you have understood how servo motor works. So if you are new to the channel, please like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.